They, oh, they... Can you bring me that little Christmas tree? <laughs> <laughs> what is... Hey, this is Sky Wallace, episode 45 of The Sit Down. <laughs> Well, hello and welcome. How are you doing? Hey, yeah, I'm pretty good. Pretty good. All things considered, weird, uh, weird year, but you know, pretty good. Right. How are you all? Uh, I think I think we're all on the same page here. Good year, but but weird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Good and yeah. weird. You're in Toronto, am I right? That's right. Yeah, that's right. So we are in lockdown again. Fun. Which, yeah. It's fine, you know, just hanging around at home a bunch, missing yeah. live music and all that. But it's, you know, I feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel this lockdown. So we've we've been doing this uh, this podcast for as long as the pandemic. And wow. every, every artist we talked to has exactly the same. Oh yeah, we're in lockdown. We just sit at home, you know. Yeah. Do nothing. So you're not yeah. you're not alone. Yeah. You're not alone. Totally. It's a weird thing. I feel like a lot of my artist pals are on the same page where it's 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 weird and it's uh, sometimes uncomfortable, but it's definitely uh, I feel like a healthy thing for all of us because like in the arts, people just like go and go and go, and then there's no stopping, and then you don't have time to like take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. So I'm finding everybody I talk to is just like, oh, I actually am prioritizing myself, <laughs> which is kind of funny. It's it's kind of a a reboot, a reset. It's exactly sure. what I was thinking. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Which, you know, it's a silver lining. Yeah. I think that's yeah. the way the way you have to think about this whole thing. Because yeah. if you don't look at the positives, then this this whole year is a shit show and oh. you wanna get through it. I Despair. I think yeah. I think a lot of people is like are like, well, you know, the year is almost over, so twenty twenty one is gonna be all good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, totally. I, I don't mean, think it works that way. <laughs> no, not quite, not quite. But who knows? You know, let's uh, let's yeah. just see how it goes. Here, here yeah. in Saskatchewan, they're banking a lot on the vaccine. Like, yeah, I think that really, starts eh? next this week or next week. Oh, I wow. think is when no. the nurses are going to get it. Oh, but they started already last week. On started... on like the on the frontliners. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think a few doctors in in Regina got their oh, shots nice. already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. It's kind of interesting watching it all unfold. Like it's so massive of a thing that's happening. Mm -hmm. it, like uh, I can't, I can't indulge too much into it. I get too confused. Right. Yeah. Like, cause it's like, who do we, li uh, it's that whole, who do we listen to? Who's right? Who's wrong kind of thing. And then I get like swept up in it. So I just kind of keep to myself, stay out of it. I know I need to mask social distance and you know what I mean? So it's like, the, yeah. I'm going to just stick with that for now and totally. keep to myself. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's all you can do is just kind of keep yourself and yeah. people around you safe. Yeah. So yeah, you, you, now. <laughs> you, you saw Janelle right before we started, uh, started recording. Yeah. That's, she just texted yes. me too. And she was saying, there's a wall is the name of the song. Oh, that's oh. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Janelle and I, um, uh, went to the Matt Mays concert that you did in in Saskatoon. So cool! That was a fun show. It was. I love it. So what I what I was always wondering, like, when artists say, "Oh, you guys are the best," you know that stuff. It's like, yeah, you probably say it in every every venue. <laughs> well, it happened a lot that tour because I feel like Matt Mays has a fan base that is just like really good people. Like yeah. everywhere we went, there were just like a lot of people who were there to have a good time to like connect with music in a really good way. It was just like, sometimes, you know, like th there was so many of those nights on that tour. So I feel like we right. did say it a lot, but we definitely meant it. Okay. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. It was also my first time. That tour was interesting because it was my first time doing like theaters, like sit down theaters. We'd never really done anything like that. Right. So. Yeah. The the Broadway uh, Broadway theater in Saskatoon is a small venue. Mm -hmm. um, so, it, yeah, it was it was intimate. It felt like. Mm -hmm. 
when you say small, yeah. like how how many like what a, how many people? Oh, I don't even. I'm know. not sure if I'm not sure if I've been there. I feel like I have. Would that be where I would have yeah. saw Chris Cornell? I highly doubt uh, it. I saw him in Saskatoon with Janelle Summers, and I don't remember where that was. Well, you know how big the course center is. Yes. Broadway smaller. Okay. Mm-hmm. Broadway theater, Saskatoon. Two hundred. Uh, like a few hundred, you think? No, I, I, something tells me it's four hundred. Four hundred sounds about right. I'm I'm just googling it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, was so I wrong? Was, it's seventeen hundred and sixty-one. <laughs> so, what? So <laughs> uh, that's totally. There, oh. that's there's no way there were seventeen hundred people there. No, that's insane. <laughs> that's probably like max, right? Max, yeah. Max capacity. Yeah. Um, so uh, did you do like what yeah. was the? I don't know how, like that was what, a year ago, two years ago? It was almost a year ago, well, almost exactly yeah. a year ago. Maybe it's just a little bit more. Right. Yeah, because it was so, snowing. Yeah. I remember yeah. that. It was it was just before Christmas, I think, yeah. So that mm-hmm. was probably like the last, was that the last tour that you were on? I think or that did was you the do last stuff after? tour. We did stuff, but just in Toronto or like yeah. just right outside in the new year. Uh, so that was the last like actual tour tour that we did and it was we did like two months of touring because right before that we went to europe and then had like three days off and then hit the road on that one so oh my god really wild so you needed yeah. a break for sure absolutely <laughs> <laughs> well there you go thanks totally. covid <laughs> yeah yeah i actually feel like because of all this i have a better relationship with touring because i'm like caught up and not burnt out and now i'm like right. i want to go i want to go again so it's like renewed my like happy yeah. relationship with it yeah which is good how, how long was that tour that tour was it started on october 17th was the first show and the last show was november 16th so a month oh only a month oh i thought it was yeah. like almost a year or something oh okay no it was uh yeah we did we because we drove out we i think we left on october 6th, 17th uh we drove out to the west coast did a couple shows out and then did the whole uh, all the way to the east coast and then oh back. that's so, we, so much driving it was a lot <laughs> of driving so we kind of did we just did the country twice because uh we had to go back and forth but it did was take, good did you take the same road uh no because we went through like we went through regina on the way out and then had to come through saskatoon on the way back right uh, so we kind of right, right. went around and yeah. we had to go up to edmonton on the way back um, so we went up like through Jasper, I think. So how many uh-huh. was there like um, when you would play, let's say Saskatoon, and mm-hmm. then you're going to the next for the next show? Is it how much time in between shows? Like, is it a show a day rest a show, or is it like a show a show a show a day rest or how? It was it, it was stretching? really uh, like it was quite frequent the show schedule like there so it would be like show 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 and then we'd have like like between Vancouver and Edmonton we had a day. But that's because like the drive took basically a whole day. It was I think like 14 hours or something uh, yeah. with the trailer. So um, yeah, we had a, it's funny. We had a bunch of driving situations where like, you know, one we got stuck in a snowstorm, I think twice. And if we hadn't had a day off on that day, which I think there were like four days off total, we would have missed the show 100%. But it just happened that it kind of like, we just like coasted in at the last minute and showed up for, wow. <laughs> for sound check holy yeah. smokes and and so yeah. do you do you travel all together or uh, they they were separate so they had like a bus situation because they were a huge crew because there was i think what like eight people nine people in the band yeah um but then all the crew like all the lighting crew and the sound crew and everything like that so they had a big amount of people uh on with them and we just had the five of us sometimes six of us when my manager was there so we just had a minivan with a little u-haul trailer that didn't really work uh on the back (laughs) so like the uh running lights didn't work so at night if we were ever driving at night we had to keep the hazards on the whole time oh my god (laughs) it was like a tiny bit of hell but it was like funny now now that it's It's, it it makes for a story (laughs) exactly (laughs) exactly i knew a guy i actually borrowed his van uh, a couple years ago but he had this van that um you couldn't you had to keep the the brights on at all times because if you just had the headlights on and they weren't the brights the horn would sound 
like <laughs> in perpetuity. <laughs> but it saved him one time because one time uh, like a thief broke into his car and like started driving away with it, but it just had the lights on and the horn <laughs> was just going. That's freaking <laughs> <He's> hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it had something great, to but... do with the alarm system. <laughs> totally, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it worked awesome. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There was a, that happened, something similar happened to a cousin of mine in his car. The, there was a short, ah, oh, shit, he laughs about this all the time. I don't remember the whole story, but there was a short in one of the wires. So every time you would turn the steering wheel left, <laughs> the horn would go off. Or you turned it right and the horn would go. And we drove it all the way to the lake and we're like cruising around the part, the, the regional park and like, yeah. you know, horn was just going <laughs> off the side. but I don't, I, I don't remember That's why cool. it was doing that. It was a short and a wire or something, but yeah, <laughs> that may, reminded me of that. funny. <laughs> right. <laughs> Every time. Oh, Which way man. are we going? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> left. <laughs> it would that really train a... you. If you had difficulty with left and right, it would train you to remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you remember to signal. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I have I do have trouble with that, so I go like this. Like, oh. Really? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Are you are know. you left handed? No. Oh. No. It's weird. I don't know. Maybe I had a theory, but no. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I still on. use I still use my fingers for like um, if I have to do math real quick sometimes you know like uh, the nine Fine. like the times table you know like if yeah. you go nine where's my hands here your camera <laughs> if I go nine times three and then I know it's 27 because here like put your hands up like put yeah like that and then your third finger from the left put it down right so your middle finger so if you look, you've got a two, two digits up and then seven. So nine times three is 27. And if you oh, go like nine times, you know, it's, it's the right number. Th- yeah. Wild. That's how I That's learned good. my nine times table. It was like that. That is very smart. I never thought about that. Holy shit. That's cool, right? <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> does that, wait, does that only work for nines? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, that I can tell. That's the, that's the one I don't have trouble with, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a good party I, trick. <laughs> right. <yeah. laughs> oh man, so, what yeah. am I going to talk to these people about? I got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some magic with your fingers. Guys, yeah. check this out. So you know the nine what? times table, right? <laughs> 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 nice. Um, nice. So, has the like I don't know how long the lockdown officially has been, but like, has there been any productivity like at your end? Like, are you um, like inspired, or are you finding it like a lull? Like, it's tough to get some motivation and be um, productive. Yeah, it's I, I've gone through varying stages. Like we we've only been in like lockdown, lockdown for the last couple of weeks, but um, it you know has been like we've been fairly airing on the safe side so we've been mostly just like at home staying at home for the most part um but it's it's interesting it's like gone through ups and downs where sometimes i just like don't want to pick up an instrument at all but like now i feel i feel like i'm going through a good point with like you know just doing a lot of stuff with guitar in my spare time and like you know getting putting in my like scales and stuff like that uh and writing like it's it's been a weird thing because we finished a record cycle right kind of as this was all going down. So we were not going to be very busy anyway. Um, So it was like, like we were pretty grateful to not have to like cancel a bunch of stuff. Um, And since this has had, like this all whole pandemic has happened, we were recording a record and continued to record a record uh, remotely. uh, And whenever we could like kind of figure out a safe way to do things. Um, So we have almost finished it, which is wild. Oh, that's amazing great to see like it's good to have like all the technology at home where we can actually do things like that um and like things like co-writing i've been doing a lot lately just for like last singles and stuff you can do it over zoom and like have a google doc where you both edit and stuff like that so it's yeah. uh yeah i feel very like grateful for technology because <laughs> otherwise this would have been horrible <laughs> right so, what, Did... so when are you releasing that re- that record <laughs> sometime next year I believe. I'm not exactly sure of the timeline, 
that's a very uh, so, so, that's, that's that's like a whole year exactly i know <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the first time i'm working with a label too so i feel like we're uh oh. it's like you know usually i would just like make the call on my own and kind of like put it out independently but it's like cool working with the team so we're like building the strategy and all that kind of thing oh yeah so, right which, which label is that uh six shooter records oh yeah in toronto yeah yeah they're sweet uh i think so. that the dead south are on there too that's right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. they have a they have a lot of cool artists so congrats. they do yeah oh man that's the reason i was such a big fan initially it was just like you know all the amazing cool acts that are on there like tanya to gack and william prince and everything there's so many yeah cool. yeah yeah big fan the um the like you said the using google docs and stuff and being able to to co-write and everything is that yeah. something like were you pretty techy prior to the pandemic or is that something that you had to pick up during because you're like at, at your house yeah i feel like it forced me to pick it up because i was very i don't know i just like i'm very much like a pen and paper kind of person especially when it comes to like songwriting and music productivity i'm like very not a computer person but this has like pushed me to get better at it and to like feel more comfortable with it. So it's a right. good thing. Uh, and yeah, I'm feeling actually like, you know, I'm fairly like Zoom literate now and that's weird <laughs> for me. <laughs> You're like Joel then. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm, de I'm definitely like, so sometimes I'll like edit a little clip from the pot from the show here. And mm -hmm. I'll like, I don't know if you, you probably didn't see, but uh, for example, last week or i guess this week we were talking about um you know the bb gun mm -hmm. in home alone with mm -hmm. tense machine and then so i stole a couple little clips from the movie and then i would cut it into our conversation and that was like the clip and i'm just doing That's it on like good. video editor on my little laptop so it's like <laughs> very piss poor quality but i'm just like so proud of it because it's like i did that you know <laughs> that's wicked i love that <laughs> man a, a couple of a couple of years ago, Joel barely knew how to turn on a computer. Yeah, amazing. And and now he's editing clips for for the show, and he's yeah, he's he's, he's the Zoom guru and yeah, <laughs> Zoom Zoom. I'm on it like daily, daily yeah. for, for side business. But um, mm -hmm. so I so I'm very familiar with Zoom. But like as for editing and stuff like that, it's I'm I'm still not very good at it. I don't know what the oh, hell my. I did with it. I got another clip coming out tomorrow, today or tomorrow, but. When I was editing it, I, I must have hit a button on the color because the color is terrible. <laughs> like <laughs> Mark texted me, and he's like, "What the hell happened?" I was like, "I don't know." <laughs> I just left it. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> yeah. It turned just out all right. Just the color was weird, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, like just own it and say it was intentional. Yeah. That's right. Hey, like it's to draw your attention. Yeah. <laughs> it's, exactly. It's, yeah. It's like an Instagram Get out of filter. The box. It's yeah. It's like an Instagram exactly. filter. It was. It was meant to be. Yeah. That's psychedelic, right. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've been having having fun with it, and I'm I'm shocked at how long it takes to do it, though. Holy smokes! Yeah. You yeah. Know, so, I gotta get. So when we started the 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 podcast, I was I still am doing all the editing for for the show. Okay. And Joel yeah. was in the beginning was like, ah, oh, just do this. And, oh, just do, yeah. It takes you an hour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just take this. And why don't we put that in there? And like, you know, make, bow and make it look good. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole thing. I'm not yeah. very good at it myself. <laughs> oh, me neither. But it's fun to do. So. <laughs> I'm sure it's great. They look great. Oh, thanks. So well done. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah yeah how did uh so how did you and mark connect did you guys get together on twitter or how did that twitter yeah, yeah. yes yeah nice. well first of all i saw her on stage in uh right. yeah, i suppose <laughs> yeah. right yeah you're right totally and then and then going for you know looking for artists i thought back of the concert and i was like oh it would be cool to have matt mays or sky yeah. oh yeah i don't remember who was because there were three three artists there Right? I think it was just us two. Wasn't there a three piece band or was that? Oh. I'm not sure. Are there you, might, might be... I don't think so. Are but... you thinking about when we went to Rainwolf? Oh, no. That was not the same vibe as. No, but there were three no. of them. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. So, yeah, that's, that's how I. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? Don't you it have was your so tickets awesome. <laughs> My ticket. Where's your ticket? Yeah, man. I keep my yeah. tickets. They're in like no, the yeah. file folders. And... No, Janelle had them on their phone, on her phone. So we oh. just walked in. Yeah. I Sorry. I hate it when yeah. she does that. Oh, I, I like the freaking, give me the actual copy. Why? I don't know. Just memories, man. I think I've you got put like. put a little bulletin board. Yeah, that's right. Frame them. I think I've got two Rob Zombies, three Nickelbacks. I might even Sick. still have my very first one, CCR. But that one, I don't know where that would be. But I do have it somewhere. Your first concert was CCR? Yeah. Thir- I was 12 That's or 13 cool. years old. So I was really big. Here, I'll tell you the little story here. So I was very yeah. like. Oh, sit gothy. back and relax because it's yeah. coming. <laughs> <laughs> very gothy and into Here like Marilyn it. Manson right? Like, I, I don't know yeah. why, maybe I was just rebelling or whatever, right? Um, but I had like all, at the time, all of Marilyn Manson's albums, even his EPs, mm-hmm. I think I had seven or nine of them, so maybe not all of them, but I had quite a few. And like t-shirts and posters and stuff like that. My family hated it, right? Just hated <laughs> it. It's so bad. So, uh, and around that time, so there was CCR, ELO and Doobie Brothers that were going to Saskatoon. Mm-hmm. And my dad was like, you know what? I'm going to bring you to a concert and I'm going to show you what real music is all about. And then, so that was the first concert that I got to go to. And, you know, I was like 12, 12 or 13 years old. And it really did change my perspective on, on music for sure. Cause I was all, like I said, I was just being gothy and being a little shit is what I was being. And um, it, it definitely changed my perspective and then opened me up to different genres of music. So yeah, it was uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Very cool. What do you listen Man. to if you don't listen to yourself? <laughs> I only listen to myself. <laughs> um, no, uh, I feel like I listen to a lot of like bands from Canada. Uh, the, well, the Weaker Thans are my favorite band from Winnipeg. The who? The Weaker Thans. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't. <laughs> I, I know. I know their name. I haven't really paid attention to the music. That's I'm, fair. I am um, now. The, yeah, they're awesome. Uh, but yeah, just like there's a lot of, especially this year, there's been a lot of really cool records that have come out. Uh, so I've just been like listening to a lot of cool stuff. Uh, what are some of my favorites? Like the OBGMs from Toronto put out a wicked album called The Ends that I'm loving. It's like punk rock. Uh, okay. And Julian Taylor put out, uh, he normally does like, I guess more rock music, but uh, it's like this amazing folk record that he put out this year that I'm digging as well. There's an album from last year, actually, um, this band, Nahiawak, from Edmonton. Uh, I think it was uh, shortlisted for the Polaris Prize, but it's like, it was like my fall record this year. Okay. I love it. What was, the, sorry, what was the cool. name of the album? Uh, the band is called Nahiawak, and oh, the album is uh, <laughs> N-E-H-I-Y-A-W-A-K. And the record is called, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, Nippy, uh, N-I-P-I-Y. Cool. And that was your go-to? That was my go-to this fall, yeah. Sweet. I I think I have that record here. Yeah? I had. I think so. I think. I don't know. Maybe. I could be wrong. It's a good one. I'm going to look that up. Yeah. But yeah, mostly I just listen to myself. Yeah. <laughs> I actually just like speak in voice memos and then I just listen back to that. Right. Nice. <laughs> what, you, you read yourself a, a, a Harry Potter book or something, right? Maybe exactly. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a little gift to myself, you know? <laughs> I sound so great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> listen to that. Yeah. Just kidding. I actually really don't love the sound of my own voice when I'm talking on recordings. You know what? I, really? I don't know. Is yeah. it is it just because like you're not used to like your the outside voice, like outside your you know how like we all sound different because we're inside our heads, but yeah. when you hear the playback, like is yeah. that what throws you off? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. It is because it is, yeah, you, you register that it is different than right what uh what it so actually then, is so. so what about your singing voice are you just like like you're you're content with your singing voice but not your speaking voice 
yeah, I feel like maybe it's just because I've heard more of it, especially like I started singing and performing when I was quite young. So I think like I have been listening back yeah. to things for a longer time, a longer period of time, and also like put more work into that element where it's just like, I know what it sounds like. I know what it's going to sound like. If I do this, I can make it sound like that kind of thing. But with right. the speaking element, I'm maybe a little bit less comfortable. Um, but I am like, I'm very interested in like the radio world. I had like my own radio show very, very briefly in the Yukon one time. Oh, nice. And it like, oh. it was awesome. I was just like on cloud nine that whole time. It was I, wicked. I, I had a short stint in radio back, back home. Cool. Um, nice. it was, it was, I started, you know, kind of behind the scenes and then I was asked, Hey, do you know these, these faders? Can you do something with that? I was like, uh, sure. I can figure it out. So yeah. I started doing the, the, uh, the production behind radio shows. And then, yeah. um, all of a sudden the, the host, uh, couldn't make it last minute. And they were like, well, we only have sidekicks here and they don't want to do the show. Do you want to take over? And I'm like, uh, Okay. I don't have a That's script. like a movie. Yeah, I don't have a script or anything. Yeah, it doesn't matter, just do something. And it was a local local radio show. It's not like, you know, the whole country was listening or anything. I was like, oh, okay, great. well, we'll we'll see what happens. <laughs> 2 hour show. And, yeah, 2 2 that's hour amazing. show and we just played music and had some fun. Pretty much that's like cool. what we're doing right now, except without Hell the music. Yeah. But yeah, totally. it was uh, and it's it's weird hearing your own voice um back because we recorded it of course um mm -hmm. it was live the the radio show itself was live but we did have uh recordings that we listened to after to see if you know we could improve somewhere or whatever yeah so listening listening to that it's like oh that is weird but everybody's like oh you sound amazing it's like oh, okay settle down it it's is a weird great. thing right <laughs> yeah. yeah and i don't think anybody would pick up on it other than yourself because you yeah hear your own voice in your head constantly yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then and then we had a we had a a, a radio bingo on that station as well. And uh, <laughs> my colleagues, because my wife always wa walked into the studio too, and uh, she wasn't my wife at that time, but it's, mm -hmm. so it they were asking her, "Do you want to?" And her being from Canada, so she has an accent in in Dutch because I'm mm -hmm. I'm from Holland, so I have a Dutch accent. And okay. In Dutch, she has an English accent. Anyway. So it was like, oh, it would be cool to have you on. And she was like, well, no, I have an accent. Can't do that, blah, blah. No, it, that makes it interesting. Totally. But yeah, that, I guess that makes sense. So she did the radio bingo for about a year or so. Wicked. That's yeah. awesome. Fun. Yeah. Bingo actually got me through like the first couple months of the pandemic. Really? I started doing bingo online with this band from the East Coast called the Town Heroes, who are awesome dudes and they just started doing this online live stream bingo i think maybe once or twice a week it was amazing wow how do you do that yeah. because I, it's it was just like a yeah. live stream you would you would i think there were only at first i think there were only like 200 cards available but they all got taken and so you'd have your card your designated card and he would just like get on there and he'd like you know have couple drinks and just like do the bingo roller the bingo machine, and they got yeah. they got more and more tech involved it's funny as it got like more and more popular there were like um, i think like a thousand people watching at one point a couple what? hundred for sure and just That's... like it was it was legendary it was so good just like rolling the bingo and then they'd call it out and everybody would just be in the chat like, like ah! i think it was like facebook live but it was yeah. amazing and like me and a bunch of my friends who we weren't able to see in in toronto or abroad we would just like chat back and forth on the thing and like like send each other pictures of the bingo <laughs> <laughs> that's actually like amazing. a really that's awesome that's a mm. genius idea that'd be like a good fundraiser idea mark See, we oh, can yeah. we yeah. should do something like that—a Facebook Live bingo thing. We can have somebody like Sky call the numbers for us. I anytime. As as we shoot the shit, and then we can like raise a little bit of money to like put on a concert or some shit like that. Holy yes. crap! For Moose Fest. Moose Fest. That, this is a good idea. I I really like it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anytime. I'm gonna write that shit down right now. I will guest bingo draw any day of the week. Okay, so. Like, and then it was cash prizes or what? No, I think what were the, they kept what it would simple. 
Uh, they kept it simple. First, they had like their own merch, which was really sweet, um, like CDs and stuff. Oh, yeah, but yeah. then yeah. they started getting like sponsors around because uh, they're from, I think they live in Dartmouth. Uh, so they'd get sponsors from like all around Halifax and that. And so they would like, you know, mail stuff out to everybody. And yeah, it got uh, cooler and cooler. Yeah. Oh my God. This, I, yeah. uh, this is such a, <laughs> I, my wheels are just uh, turning right now. I yeah. really like this idea. I, I, I think can, this would I be can something see that the, we can get behind in the new year. I can see the twinkle <laughs> in Joel's eyes right now <laughs> because he heard yeah. sponsorship. He goes like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, sure. the possibilities are endless, really. Oh, it's it's so good. We could end. Oh man, you bet. I love that idea. Yeah, it's very very good. And like my like my uncle heard about it, and he started doing uh, bingo at like for the curling club on live stream, right? Because he kind of runs the curling club in Whitby. I, so why haven't we thought of this before? I I don't know. I were do you I, Mark? Were you around when? Like, was it CBC or CTV? I might have been CTV. There was like a, a bingo, a televised bingo. Like we had Farmer Vision, right? So like five and nine or whatever those channels were. <laughs> and the, yeah. the Prince Albert station, I think it was every Sunday, there was like a half hour program where they would do a bingo. So you could buy your cards at like Safeway, Co-op, whatever, whatever. And then on Sundays, they would do a little a bingo thing on TV. And when you would win, you'd call in. But it was cash money. Yeah. And we'd, we'd have to check into a uh, lottery license and shit like that. I don't know. Well, I think that. there's a loophole with bingo. I bet. I bet there's there? a bunch of loopholes with bingo. There's definitely a loophole. I know raffles are frowned upon. Well, like 50 right. 50 tickets, if the cash prize is, I think it's like a thousand bucks or less, you do not need a license for the tickets. But if you exceed a thousand dollar payout, then you need like the Saskatchewan liquor and gaming license on the tickets. Mm. So okay. you could do, you could do like a hundred separate 50, 50 draws at like 500 bucks a piece. You know what I mean? So that's what right. the loophole there is. Okay. I, I, I'm putting you in charge of looking this up. <laughs> okay. I, I already wrote it down, man. I really <laughs> like this bingo idea. We could do prizes like records or something like that. Right. Yeah. Like, and yeah. then, and then we just ask our podcast guests to, to hang out to with us. Yeah. Absolutely. Sweet. Yes. What, 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 this is a sick brainstorming even, session. This, yeah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> we, like one, just to think out loud is what we could do if, for in the meantime is we could have our guests. Let's say we started this right now. We could have Sky pick three random bingo card numbers right now, but we'll have her on camera, right? So then each episode we get um, a host or a host, a guest to, you know, go with three numbers. And then let's say in six months we mash them or when we have 52 numbers, then we just edit it all together so that they're all picking three numbers. And then they're after you sell the cards there, whoever has those numbers wins kind of thing. Does yeah. that make sense? Uh, but then you can rig it. I don't think people like that. Oh, true. Because uh, then, because then have to I be pretty quick to like. Yeah, sync then up it's not live, that. right? Yeah. Yeah, and if yeah. and if I if I see the tickets before mm -hmm. I send them out and I send them out to a friend, I can make sure that Sky names that number and then yeah. that person. So I mash that video together and then that person wins. So yeah, you're right. It what, has my, to be what my uncle did for the curling club one is that he would have like you know guest announcers, but once they got a certain number there'd be like a little circle around a certain number once a, once they pulled that number they'd be like oh there's a special call who could it be and then they <laughs> like hash the call through <laughs> to the live stream and be like oh it's so and so here i'm just gonna call this number something oh yeah 69 or whatever <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> yeah oh, oh 69 so <laughs> why did i pick that one i know why i picked that one i know why hilarious i know why yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah no, so this that's is an option. Oh man, more stuff to do. I know. Well, this is this is I definitely know. a new year project. So Mark and I, where when were we talking about the calendars? Was that with Joe? Yeah, this was. Yeah, we were kind of trying to think of doing like maybe a, a funky moose calendar. It'd be too late to do it for 2021 now, but you know, um, a sit down podcast calendar. So like, yeah. we can have our guests per month or whatever, like the top That's viewed cool. guests 
in, in that month and then just sell the calendars for like 10 or 20 bucks a piece kind of thing. Right. Yeah. To totally. generate There's money. so much you can do. Cause like, then it, it just, people connect with it just like they connected with that, those episodes. So yeah. And keep that, that connection going. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Wicked. Man, we're awesome. <laughs> but you have to, so when, when we do this guy, you have to promise that you're going to come on and call for one, one show at least. Absolutely. 100%. Excellent. Cool. All right. Yeah. You, you guys heard it here. Done deal. <laughs> we got you on tape. <laughs> <laughs> on tape. Did yeah. you high five yourself? I did. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get a high five otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh. What else can, can we you, drum up? Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm kind of stuck on that idea now. Um, well, I was going to sure. kind of throw it back to the album you said that you were working on that mm -hmm. is uh, hopefully being released next year. Is there anything mm -hmm. else you can tell us about that? Like, Yeah. Um, so like with the last record that I did, I kind of, the, the goal with that one was um, I wanted to frame it in like a storytelling way that which is pretty typical with like folk music but i wanted to frame it in like a rock music sphere i guess so a lot of uh, i did all of the writing in a couple of residencies one in the yukon and one in western newfoundland and so i just like amassed a whole bunch of uh stories from just like reading about the area about like the history and people uh and i wrote all the songs uh they were inspired by stories of women that i learned about or knew uh, that really connected with me. So it was a really awesome project to be just like inspired by other people and take on a storytelling kind of hat, uh, but still frame it in like a very rock music way. So that was really cool. Um, but with this one, I'm definitely uh, intentionally being very personal with how I'm writing, which is I, a lot of people write that way all the time. But for me, it's not like as natural a thing. So I wanted to be very like, intentional with making it a personal record so it's uh i'd say even more so in the rock world um and that's the that's the goal with it so i'm very stoked awesome yeah it's also awesome. the first time where like the band that i play with is the band on the record as well so i'm so oh, cool oh. yeah yeah so how does that work like the band that you had last year is that mm -hmm. are those artists that you know and you just put together for that tour or is that is that a group that you always have around you? They're my group that I play with uh, oh, yeah. regularly now. I think the first time the five of us together was, uh, was the last person that joined was Gina, the keyboard, and that was New Year's Eve uh, going into 2019. We played an outdoor show in Barrie, Ontario, which was really cool, wow. uh, but awesome. And it was with Sam Roberts. It was really fun. Uh, yeah, so that was our, so I guess two years for coming on our two year anniversary of the, you know, the entity. Right. Sweet. Really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I love them. They're all like my very best friends. So it's like yeah. a very good situation. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Pretty lucky. So how do you, um, how did you get associated with guys like Matt Mays and Sam Roberts? Um, we, like we share a, kind of an agency team, which is mm. super cool. Um, so that was like the initial, uh, the initial booking of it all. And since that, like we've played a bunch of shows with with both of them, and they're just really nice people. Not just like you know Sam Roberts and Matt Mays themselves, but also like the people that they surround themselves with, like the crew, the uh, the bands. Like we had great times with all of them, and especially like you know being an opening, like emerging band. It's like you know like they don't have to be welcoming and lovely to us but they all they completely were just like very inclusive like matt like he he invited us all on stage for the encore uh from the first show of the tour when we didn't really even know each other yet and now we're all just like pals we see each other around the neighborhood walking dogs and stuff and it's just <laughs> yeah it's really nice it's nice when you meet people who you revere and they're actually nice yeah <laughs> yeah it shouldn't be <laughs> shocking but it's it's awesome <laughs> yeah be yeah, yeah. If there's no reason to be i don't think there's any reason out there to be competitive in in no. It, no. you know like you're all in it for the same reasons and you're all getting the same out of it yeah like you know what i mean like yeah. there's no reason to kick somebody when they're down or whatever like i think yeah. if everyone does it together everyone can prosper from totally. well, we had, i feel like we had 
Yeah, we we had that interview or that that chat with uh, Elephants and Stars, and and mm-hmm. he mentioned um, that that he uh, what was it? They had to try out for another band, and the the band walks in and you know has a look at the at what they're doing on stage, and they were like, yeah, no, we don't want them in the pre-show because they're better than us. You know yeah. that that kind of vibe. They, they, they outdid the the headliner, <laughs> yeah. so they didn't get called. Yeah, oh or God. or maybe it was just the the pace of of the music compared to what the the main act would be or something like yeah. that. So, I mean, I I get it that if you, you know, if you put on a show and you're the headliner, you don't want to be, um, and and your your music is kind of you know low key, and you have a punk band right in front of you, sure. that might not vibe but i mean yeah like personally i don't i don't think you have a dick to each other or anything you know no and i feel like that i feel like the like that sentiment is really shifting in 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 the industry and also the world i just feel like there's like less tolerance for people being dicks for no reason just like everybody's finding (laughs) that it's just like it's just nicer if we're all like nice to each other and like supporting each other and like lifting everybody up as you go instead of like just like i don't know individualism i guess yeah Yeah. because like there's no point couldn't agree more couldn't agree more for sure yeah that's kind of why why we do what we do too like we want to i mean we're not getting paid to do this we just want to help artists where we can and if that's if if that's you know get 10 views on a video or 150 views whatever it's like another 10 eyeballs yeah. on, on that artist. I think, yeah. I, I think that Mark and I, I like, we are not musicians, right? But doing what we're doing, we feel like we're one of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like we're, we're we feel like we're, we're part of it because we like promoting you guys and, and, you know, just hanging out with you guys and that kind of stuff and listening to you guys, like all of that fun stuff, but we don't know how to play any that, instruments at all. Right. Yeah. So. You don't, I don't think you need to in order to be part of like the greater community and just like, you know, that can even just mean people who don't even have uh, like, you know, something like, like this, like a, like a platform, even just people going to shows and like, like that's part of the community. I think it's really cool right. that it is like music, but also just like art in general is this like collective connection amongst all these people where it's like suddenly you're all part of something together i think that's, that's like and magic. and it's yeah for sure i also i don't know about you mark but i've noticed like and I'm not oh what's the word i'm looking for like i see my my place in it like evolving what i mean by that is like not as just a fan of music like you mentioned like art in general right so mm-hmm. I'm at a place now where I'm, if I'm watching a music video, I'm like getting really tuned into it. And then I'm think I'm like dissecting it, right. As well as dissecting the song that I'm listening to, or I find myself staring at like poster art and stuff. And I'm like really mm-hmm. getting into it. And <laughs> it's just like, Pick it. it's yeah, like a it's, cycle of inspiration. It, it yeah. is like, so I, I cool. get what you mean by like the art of it. And it's like, I, I, I I'm getting deeper in a rabbit hole for sure yeah. it's crazy i, I have to hole. say i have to say that since we started this i listen to a lot more indie music than than mainstream yeah stuff. oh cool. for sure That's i, I yeah. can agree with that too 100 yeah. percent. i enjoy it more now because it's back you remember when we're younger and we want it like listen to uh the people that nobody else is listening to yeah. you know because <laughs> they they didn't sell out or whatever like I, it's bringing me back to that when I listen to an indie group and I really enjoy them and it, it just makes me feel like I'm a kid again. I love it. For sure. yeah, yeah, totally. Totally. Oh, there's one band that you should check out if you're looking for a bunch more music. Uh, two of my bandmates have another band called Altered by Mom and they put out or will by the end of the year uh, 52 songs that's like written, oh. recorded and released uh, and so that's one a week this year. So there's a, sh- a shit ton of songs to check out if you feel like it. That's like Freaking right. All, all turn by mom. To dive into. <laughs> yeah, they they rock. They're so good. It's dead and and two of them are, are in your existing band right now. That's right. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, we actually all lived together until not too long ago. It was awesome. 
So what, they kick you out or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm out of here. No, just the pandemic hit and I decided to move in with my partner and it's good. Oh, yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, I think they're actually, yeah. they're moving out of that spot as well. So we're all going to be like neighbors soon, which is wicked. And your partner is a dog or what? Because dog yeah. is behind you right now. It's my partner, Mojo. <laughs> yeah. Hi, <buddy. laughs> so cute. <laughs> she's a little but <laughs> hello she's kind of like a cat she'll just stare at you oh that's creepy <laughs> <I know. laughs> i've been getting into horror movies recently uh like I've, I've always been super shitty with horror movies and for some reason something just snapped so now like i've been watching all these like ghost stories and i'm just like hyper she'll just like come and stare at us and we'll just be like oh you're a demon aren't you i knew it it's like my brain it's coming is out like... you're drawing in that energy you're you're making <laughs> that energy exist i know i know what uh, <laughs> so what's okay let me ask you what's your top through what's your favorite scary movie <laughs> <laughs> top three or top one top three top 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 three okay I'd say I really liked Hereditary. Uh, is that the one that's on Netflix, isn't it? I think it might be, yeah. Okay. Can't remember. Um, Hereditary. I really liked Paranormal, like the Paranormal Activity ones. And then I guess uh, The Conjuring. Oh, nice. That was good. And Runner Up like Midsummer. <laughs> Runner up Midsummer. I never heard of that yeah. one. It's good. I think it's by the same director as uh, Hereditary. But it's good. It's like, I feel like it was a big jump from like zero to 100 with scary movies with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I couldn't do them at all. <laughs> no. And then I'm just like, bring it on. Yeah. Go for the gusto, right? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Mark, it's just like watch... something distracting. You guys lost you me. Watch... Yeah. Mark, you're not a scary uh... movie person? No, you like Star Wars. No. Yeah. That's fair. Did you watch the Mandalorian series? Yep. Well, we're watching oh, yeah. it right now with the kids. Wicked. I loved yeah. it. Yeah. It's uh, our our daughter is completely into the whole Star Wars. I, I started watching it with her, uh, I don't know, a few months ago. We started it because, yeah. you know, they're home and no homework and whatever. Yeah. So it's like, uh, okay, let's watch Star Wars. And she was glued to the whole movie. And she was... Uh. Like all all six of them, and then the 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 ones after that too, and now the Mandalorians. Yeah, she's yes. So here's a question. Did but you yeah, go... horror movies. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, did you go horror, horror in movies? Order... Not, not my jam. Okay. Yeah. Um, did you go in order of like when they were released or with the timeline of the stories? No, the way they were released. Sweet. That's yeah. cool. So four, five, six, then one, two, three, and then uh, seven, eight, nine, and then the Mandalorian. Okay. Very cool. But my daughter re requested to watch him again, and then in the one, two, the three, order. four, five, six order. Cool. That's we good. Yeah, I think yeah. it's just an excuse for her to watch it again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's so good. It's like bonding, <laughs> bonding time. Yeah, I I'm I'm okay with that. I got yeah. a cool picture on the wall here. I was trying to figure out how to show you. I can't move around too, too good. So, but yeah, I've got two good. Uh, we we saw that. Saying, yeah. <laughs> saw that I was looking around or that I can't move around very good. Yes. Both, and yes. Yeah. I'm going to try my best here. So if I have to edit this out after I will, but bear with me. Good thing I'm on wheels. And I'll see, I'll do the best that I can here uh right here can you see this wait i can stand up sorry where's my camera i don't know if you can get that oh wow it's got, like, it's wow. got every horror like villain or Collage. whatever in it. yeah cool that's probably the best that's I can really do that. cool and i've got another one on the other corner but i can't show you that one that's too far totally fair. too far yeah very cool yeah, stuff like that. We love horror movies here. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you a funny story about how I got the name for my son. So, um, my son's first name is Kemper, K E M P E R. 
And the way we got that is actually from, um, oh shit, what the hell's the name of the movie, Mark? With Jessica Biel and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh. Um, so that is actually, like that one version of it is my is Janelle's favorite movie, like of all time. And the first guy who dies in it, his name was Kemper. So that's actually oh. how we got. <laughs> I know it's so weird, right? We're weird. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. but, that's great, though. That's and, like... But to to add to that too, also we're in a French community, right? So mm -hmm. we didn't want a name where people can like flip it to like the French slang. Like my name sure. is is Joel in English, but it's Joel in French, right? Mm -hmm. Or you you know what I mean? Like give it that French. Like Mark is Marcien. You know what I mean? And we didn't want right. that for our son. We wanted it something right. stationary, like it is what it is. And, you, and sure. we didn't think that you can flip temper. Like it's not yeah. going to be compare com or something like that. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, temper. right, right. So that was like okay. the, the selling point on it. But yeah, from- I think it's a really uh, cool name. Like I haven't Texas heard it very off. often. That's wicked. It's like, yeah, no, it's a very like strong name. I it's think actually, so we, 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 with the with the names of our kids we did it exactly the opposite we wanted it to be pronounced in three languages so uh, oh, our daughter is alexis mm -hmm. so you can have that in in dutch english and french it doesn't matter how you you know it's it's always the same you just put an accent on it right. and then uh our son is elian um so elian in english elian in french and dutch is Elian, so it's yeah. you know it's yeah. it's all the same. Cool, that's yeah. Good. Yeah. Sky's a pretty it's, awesome name. Yeah, how it's did, pretty cool. There's got to be a story there. I'm sure you must ask um, your parents like why why how'd you come up with Sky? Yeah, this I mean this I think, guy is so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Although, so my name has an e at the end, which is um, like the island in Scotland. Uh, mm. in the Hebrides and my my grandmother's from Scotland and it was like one of I guess her favorite places or my great-grandmother's favorite places so my mom was very taken by it uh, it's definitely mm. like a weird name like it's not very prevalent but I, I like it it's really fun yeah and I actually asked you if, if it was a stage name or if it was your right. actual name yeah because I actually get because that a lot yeah because it's not a it's not a very common name mm -mm. it's just right I, I was actually afraid to ask because if it is your real name, you probably heard that a million times and you might get yeah. fed up with it. <laughs> I think I think it's kind of a compliment, to be honest, because it's like, oh, your name's so cool. It must be, uh, yeah. you know, That's curated. Must be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> must be made up. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, <laughs> so have you ever been there to that place? You must I have, have actually. Yeah. yeah, I went once when I was like 18, I think. And it's really gorgeous. It's like, like unbelievably beautiful. It's is like that really uh, rocky hills? Like that's got to conjure up some feeling, right? Like emotion, and be like, "Holy shit!" Oh, like yeah. this is where my name is originated from. Big time. And we like on that same trip it was me and my me and my family, and we went to like you know the place where my grandma was from, and like all these. It was just like really, uh, like really connective trip. Like it felt. Yeah. It, I was quite emotional because it was like a very. Yeah, just like very intense emotional connection to the place that I'd never been, but I'd heard so much about and like kind of like knew because of growing. I was very close with my grandpa and grandma when I was growing up and we like lived with them off and on. And so just like kind of knowing, but then like suddenly being able to be in that that place was really powerful. Same thing with with Newfoundland when I, I get to go there. It's like, you know, my grandfather's from there uh, and just like like very very connected to the place and like talks about it all the time and so to go there is a very similar experience where it does feel like this really emotional uh connectiveness which is right. wild cool yeah. sweet yeah. i'm trying to think of well my name was just i was born early and my parents didn't have a name yet so my mom just the last books she read the main character was named mark so it's like ah, oh, let's pick this one that's awesome <laughs> yeah. that's great <laughs> so there's no Why real yeah you know, there's there's no history to it or whatever i don't even know what the yeah. book was called but you know right <laughs> <laughs> I, I think there's something I should, just like spur the moment you know yeah i should ask her and 
see if she remembers yeah. which book it was. Yeah, absolutely. Then read that book. Mm. Eh, cool. I'm not a reader. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you want to know my brother's name? It's a sick name. Yeah. Yeah. His, his name is Maximilian William Wallace. Holy. Isn't that crazy? That That's part Italian. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maximilian William Wallace. Yeah. Where Where I, don't know part Italian. I don't know why uh, that made me think of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for some reason. It, it is very fantastical, right? It's got like a, it, like it keeps rolling well, and rolling. Yeah. Willy Wallace, Willy Wonka. True, 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 true. Probably. True. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where Max Maximilian came from, but like William Wallace, which like like Braveheart has been in our family for like my dad's name is William Wallace and his dad's name is William Wallace. And all. Uh, yeah, nice, funny, yeah, cool, but, cool, uh, yeah, pretty well. Yeah, my yeah. my son's middle name is my dad's name. Oh, nice. Yep. What's that? Hemo. Hemo, nice. Yeah, and cool. Elian is um uh, so my wife's dad's name was eli so oh hey, nice Elian. yeah Elian's a pretty name i like that yeah we we were trying to do uh elias first oh cool but that was kind of like uh i don't know we we were both on the fence on it and then sure my wife came up it with doesn't click, it Elian. doesn't click yeah, yeah. yeah exactly cool. yep yeah totally joel what are you reading I'm trying to, I'm Googling my name. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think that I, I knew there was some kind of relation to the Bible, like where Joel mm -hmm. came from. And I feel like it was like an archangel or something, a protector, but it's looking like he was a prophet. Something oh, about cool. combines the covenant name of God. I don't know. I don't know. It's something religious, I think, is where my name came from. I think, I don't know don't know it doesn't really matter it matters That's how i feel about it well it's always what I, i'll tell you something cool about my name that i like oh. actually yeah. i used to hate it when i was a kid but the name the way my name is spelled it's not just j-o-l-e-l -L, right it's not j-o-e-l it's it's j-o-e-l but it has the two dots on the e like noel does That's right in french i forget what those are called but but yeah, so I always, that used to piss me off when I was younger, that like, why do I right. have to have these two dots on the E and all that? And, I would <laughs> it. and now it's like, if I don't see it, it's like, oh, you spelled my name wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Put it's those wicked. two dots on there. Cool. Yeah. yeah. What are the dots? Do you know how, I can't remember. Do you know how to type it? Do you know how to get the, the dots on you on the E? I do not. <laughs> Should I like hold That's down all. the E? Oh, hang on. I'm going to put it in the chat. Are you on a? I'm gonna are, try. Well, I'm gonna try to do it. Uh, are you on a e Sky? Are you on a Mac? I'm on a Mac. Yeah. So for us, we I'm on a Mac too. For us, it's easy, but on Windows, oh, it's a little bit it. more oh. complicated. I think. That's a, yeah. You did it there. On Macs, you like hold down the E and then push yeah. the number. Yeah. So and if I if I write what those do in my name is they make the J sound soft. So that's oh, okay. what makes it go Joel instead of Joel. Yeah. Cool. So my name is actually Joel. It's not Joel. It's Joel. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. Useless information, but fun. Not useless. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the whole thing we do here? Yeah, a lot of useless information. Kind of useless, but fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. what do you, what do you have, uh, planned for like the Christmas New Year's thing? Um, not too much, to be honest. We're probably going to do a bunch of like, we're going to do like Zooms with family members and right. things like that. Um, uh, mostly staying around, um, like I do a bit of outreach around at some of the encampments in the city. Uh, so I'm going to do a couple shifts there and that's mostly it. Just mostly stay oh, at home, walk in the forest is... with the dog. That is cool. Good on you for I applaud you for doing oh. that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, That's... there's a lot of people who are in need, especially right now with like the pandemic compounded with like the state of housing in the city and things like that. It's like not a good situation for a lot of people. So, yeah, just neighbors yep. looking out for neighbors. Right. Yeah, it's wild. 
Speaking of neighbors, I'm supposed to give you a shout out from uh, Tyler Gilbert too. Aww. I, I, I forgot until I saw my hat there. I'm actually wearing his two. Oh, you are too. Yeah. Awesome. I don't even I know where my Tyler. camera is. <laughs> <laughs> I so yeah, love that guy. How What's do you know each other? We we first met at um, there was this folk music conference uh, called Folk Alliance that happened in we were in Kansas City. That's actually I met a ton of Saskatchewan based artists there. I met like Megan Nash and Nick Fay, uh, Josh Gonzalez, and then Tyler. Uh, and we yeah we just like formed a little group and like went around to all the different places like all the different showcases together. It was really nice. And then from there, I think the last time I saw Tyler, we played like a show in, in Moose Jaw together a couple of years ago. Uh, yeah, he's a great guy. Nice. He's so, like, I haven't met him in person. Um, oh, I yeah. just, I met him on the show, right? And then, you know, I kind of text with him every now and again. But, the like, man, I freaking love that guy. Like, I, yeah. I don't know him personally at all, but there's something about him. And I, I'm, I'm almost scared to say it because if my interpretation on him is way off, then I don't want to like <laughs> insult him or make him feel bad. But like, I just, I freaking love that guy, man. And I would, yeah. I'd bend over backwards for him. He's, he's yeah, good shit in he's my book. He's a solid dude. Sure. Yeah. Makes me laugh. I think he's freaking yeah. hilarious. I bet oh, the smoke yeah. alarm is still going off. No, he actually found it for <laughs> oh, the record. Did he? Yeah, for, for all you fans who your avid listeners out there, he did find the smoke detector on top of his furnace and he removed the batteries. But I think it took him like two oh weeks, God. two, three weeks. That was That's awesome. Horrendous. Oh, I so, know, right? So Sky, I don't I, I'm not sure if you know the, the backstory of this one. I don't know if I saw this. Okay, so we highlight. we had Tyler on a, a a couple months ago, whatever it was. And yeah, uh, about, and yeah. throughout the whole throughout the whole session we just hear this beep in the background and i'm like that must be a smoke alarm or something so i called him out on it he's like you you need to change the batteries on the smoke alarm and he's like what really and he and all of a sudden he's like oh yeah i guess so because i i i heard it before but i just so i tuned it out i don't even know what a damn thing is oh okay yeah, was, well whatever he was painting and then, so everything his whole house was like out of whack because he was painting right so he didn't right. know where it was, but he could hear it every minute. There was the it would go off because the battery oh was God. low. Then a week goes so by. The, so a week a week later, Joe, who you uh, were a guest on last week, yes, think? yes, or two weeks ago, whatever it was. Yeah. So Joe, Joe has a talk with Tyler, and I don't know. Fifteen minutes in, Joe goes, "Is that your freaking smoke alarm still?" And oh it was still God. it was still beeping. Yeah. Oh man, oh. that would be so annoying to live right? with. Like, I I oh, wouldn't God. be able to do it. Yeah, but yeah. So had... okay, <laughs> good news. He found it. Good. He, yeah. he found it, and he he didn't change the batteries. He just removed he just them. Took it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that guy. That's the best oh. ending. Right, but that's <laughs> perfect. Like stuff like that. Like even just what made me laugh so hard about it was when we called him out on it in the episode. Yeah. It, just his reaction. He was just like, like, oh, that's what that is? Like, you know, and been going on for a week. It was just, he really, no. That's, I, that, I think, was the moment when I fell in love with Tyler. Totally. Like, made really me hurt. think of, like, how innocent he is for somebody who can just, like, thrash and shred so hard on the guitar. Totally. And be so kick-ass. And he's just, like, nonchalant and easygoing. I just, oh, yeah. that was perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Guy. That's such so a shout, good shout story. Out to Tyler. <laughs> hey Tyler. Too good. Cool. Yeah. Is there uh, is there anything you want to plug, Sky? Um, I mean, there's not too too much going on right now. Like no upcoming shows, but there will be some probably coming up in like the spring summer. Uh, I'll be releasing like a new music video in January, and then kind of like you know new stuff is on its way so keep your ear to the ground everybody but yeah that's mostly for it. sure exciting and where can, where can stuff. where can people find you online if they're looking for uh you? if you're looking on like social media it's uh like like instagram is at sky wallace music sky with an e at the end uh wallace ace at the end uh and then on spotify it's just like just my name uh and like youtube all that stuff 
I'm up on all those things. So follow along if you want to check out what I do slash uh, keep in touch about new stuff coming out. Cool. For sure. Aki, I'm... We, I, we ask this every artist, but it's basically just Google us. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> like, right? Google yeah. it. You know, what we should start doing, Mark, is when they give their handles, like their Instagram handle and stuff like that, we should have a little drop down on the on the episode Ooh. so they can see this. This, <laughs> this is what he does. And I get to That's do it. That's good. And you have to <laughs> edit it. Yeah. yeah. You have to incorporate yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. It's a great idea. Yeah. If I had awesome five idea. hours in a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it yeah. is a great we idea. Need, but... We need some sponsorship money here so that we can start yeah. getting that getting that going. And I yeah. think bingo maybe time, our, baby. our that's exactly that's where I was going with it. Our bingos can get us. If you guys <laughs> want that drop down to Sky's Instagram <laughs> on this episode, you can like get on the bingo. Like <laughs> like and play bingo with us. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to take this to the next level, that's yeah. right. That's we right. got a bingo. <laughs> you got a bingo. Oh, I'm kind of excited about the bingo now. I'm you like that excited. idea, hey? I, I do. I, there's, I see, there's a lot of potential there, man. I can see that working. But again, uh, time is an issue for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 But we'll, fig- we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And we can do them at on, least one uh, guest. We can do yeah. Wednesday, Wednesday night bingos. Right. Cause you How work- long would that go for? Like, can you be done in like half an hour or is that two hours? I think it's, what is it? I think it's like, if you're quick, like an hour, if you want to drag it on, you can do two two and a half because you can be you can like pace it however you want yeah but I guess so, I, yeah. it also depends like the ones that i've done i've seen full card uh but you can do like in a line yeah the, really the, a line so or the half an hour actually or, yeah 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 that's cool. uh we'll have to design we got it is we should start by designing a funky moose bingo card mm-hmm. that that's where that's there. where we should start right at the top maybe I think I think we need some organizing or, or organization. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that. <laughs> we'll add it. We'll add it to the to do list. Yeah, but that, I like it. A- I'm I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna f around with that idea for the holidays here. Throughout it's Christmas, on, I'm gonna be thinking it's about on your, bingo. Just reiterate That's my this. shoulders. It's your to do list. Not <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna Boundaries. be bugging Sky. I'm gonna I'm gonna start following you on Twitter and Instagram there, yeah. Sky, and I'm gonna be asking you questions about bingo. <laughs> oh yeah, perfect. Hit me up. <laughs> yeah. We I'll be make your consultant. A, we yeah, should make this a public thing. We just all we do from now on, Sky, is talk about bingo. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> it's niche, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so good. Sweet. All right. So good. If you want, oh. I can put you in touch with the town heroes who did it initially. Yes. <laughs> that, yes. Awesome. Actually, yes. that's Maybe. that's I I'm all for it for sure. Yeah. We should have them that. as a guest, and we'll. I just... was gonna say they'd probably love that. All right. Cool. Yeah, that would be a very good, very good yep. thing. Excellent. Sweet. All right. Me. I think. Um, yeah. What time is it where you are right now? Four fourteen. Yeah. All right. Three three fourteen here. I think uh, so. Today we are Wednesday. We're recording. We didn't address it earlier, but we are recording a little earlier because of the holiday. But the episode will still be up at regularly scheduled time, which is on Monday, Monday morning. Yep. So this will this will go up on Monday. Um, Wonderful. But yeah, I think we'll we'll let you get back at her. And mm-hmm. uh, we, thanks for I having want me. You, I want you to know that you are. This door is always open for you anytime you wanna come on the show, um, even just to shoot the shit or plug something, just reach out to us and, and we'll make awesome. the time for you. You are, you are now part of the, of the family. So thank welcome you. Welcome and thank, really thank you. Thanks yeah, for thank being you. here with us. This was, thank you. Yeah, I, I loved this. Like, thanks for shooting the shit and having me. This was great. <laughs>